Hey folks, how you doing this morning? If you can't tell, back at camp, bringing my TV down here today. Uh, I'm gonna try and uh, get some paint on that shed. Well, actually not paint, trying to get some stain on the shed and possibly the outhouse too. And I wanna do a little bit of food plot work. Haven't touched anything out there. Um, sort of just half-assing the food plots this year because I just don't have the time. Been working so much on inside the camp that uh, I just haven't had time to work on that as much as I want to and get it the way I want it. Uh, but we'll see. Got a lot of work to do. Uh, it's a couple of days I'm going to be out here. And hopefully, next time I show you that, that shed right there, hopefully it'll have a good amount of stain on it. And hopefully the outhouse too. And if I get those done and I got a little bit more ambition left in me, maybe I'll start working on the front of the camp. I'm not sure. I got two different colors, uh, a lighter stain and a darker stain for the trim. So uh, we'll see how that goes. premium stain this here stain right here is a stain I'm going to use for the, the main walls and so forth and then this stain right here will be for the trim area so I got three gallons of that so far and I got about six six gallons of this so far um, I want to do is I'll do the shed here first mostly all just the uh, outside stain and just trim that window out and maybe the door with some of the darker stains just to see what it looks like. And over there, I got the outhouse you can see. I don't even have that finished really the way I want it, but I want to put a coat of stain on it anyway just to preserve it a little bit better until I can get some kind of an outside finish on it. And then here, see I'll put the darker on the windows, maybe the trim up there, and all these beams will be the darker. And then the the building itself will be the lighter, and I'm thinking the deck will be the lighter because down below the deck, there's a trim board right there. Maybe they have that darker with the beams and then the lighter on the top. We'll see. I uh, did put water treatment on the bench last time I was here. You can see this wood is starting to get old and age, and I did have water treatment on this deck twice. But it's starting to fade a little bit, and I want to get some stain on it. Here and I'll show you the stain I got. Okay, there's a stain that'll be for the outside, main part portion of the walls. It's the lighter stuff. And then I got this three gallons so far of uh, the darker stuff for the trim. Got a couple of thick stain brushes and one smaller one for the edges and stuff. A couple of paint buckets in case I have some family that may come down sometime. I wanted to get this started and work on that uh, shed first. And uh, I should be able to tackle the shed in the, in the outhouse myself, but uh, I'll get help doing the camp, see as high as that goes. Yep. Fairly high wall, this front wall and the back wall is pretty high. And then these beams up here as well, that's gonna be a chore. And it's all gonna be in the dark trim. So definitely need somebody up on the ladder. I mean, I can do some of it, but getting up on the ladder is hard on my back. But work on it had to wait for half the day to go by we had mist in the morning and i wanted to wait a little while longer so everything had time to dry up come out here expecting it to be a dry uh, couple of days i was been waiting for on on uh, the weather you know pay, checking the weather every day to make sure you know i have a couple of days to get this done and even what the weatherman says, it's still wrong. <laughs> I had missed this morning, and now it's a chance of thunderstorms tomorrow, which there wasn't supposed to be. So, gotta get as much done as I can. We're probably not gonna get as done as I want, but I'm gonna give it a shot now and get started.
but it's taken a lot of stain. I don't think it's ever been stained at all, so it's sucking it all right up. side done looks pretty good I think I think I knew I was in trouble when I started putting that stuff down and it was just soaking it up like a sponge couldn't even put a brush down and it would just soak it right up you have to put a couple of coats right in the same spot just to get it to take the color let me show you how much can how much stain I have left so much I got left from that one wall so much it's soaked up, soaked up like three quarters, at least two thirds of a gallon on one side. So, yep. Yeah. Looks good though. And on dinner break, staying, I got the whole back half done and about maybe a third of the other side opposed to the first side. With the rest of that, about a third of a gallon. It took me two thirds to do that one side. That's the side facing the sun, and that was so dry, it was like a sponge just soaking up the stain. But it uh, looks pretty good. Now I gotta do some lemon on the opposite side. There's a tree that's pretty close, it's got a bunch of branches and stuff. I started on the ground, finished off that gallon. So I'll have to fill up another gallon. But it's coming. Hopefully, I have this done tonight. I'll wait out an hour or two. Hopefully it'll cool down. It's about four o'clock, a little after four, so it's about peak peak temperature right now, around eighty degrees, or maybe a little bit more. So hopefully it'll cool down in another hour so I can get this finished out. We'll see. If not I'll finish it tomorrow morning.
short little sample of a hopefully that'll look like someday with a darker trim around the windows and stuff probably on those posts over there too let's see but yeah some you can see this south side and face over here is a lot darker that wood was darker because it was bleached a lot more in the sun it soaked up a lot of shoot took two-thirds of a gallon just this one side and then I got the whole back side and started up on the other side with the rest of that gallon. And then the face over here is with another gallon of our newer stuff. But looks good. what a good weather got a rain coming in in an hour or so it was misting out earlier so i got that shed done pretty much in the nick of time i didn't have any enough time to try and even start the outhouse um my first uh first day here i worked on the food plot trying to get that ready and planted I had to rake it all up then i uh laid the lime down and then the next day i come back through Drove over the lime a little bit, and then I put some seed down. Drove over that just to get good seed to soil contact. So that was my first day. And then the second day, I was misting out in the morning, so I couldn't start on staining for a while. So I had to wait till about noontime for it to dry out and get that going. So instead of getting uh, two buildings, then I got one. But shed looks good, and it needed it more than anything. The shed's been here the longest, so... You want to go first and i do like the colors so i think the camp's gonna look really nice that color uh leave a comment below let me know what you think about it um the lighter color for the main walls is a, a, red. a redwood and then the uh the darker trim area is coffee for the bare paint from a home depot let me know what you think of those colors i think it's gonna look good in this camp well we'll talk to you again soon thank you